say go. I'm just saying. Now, I am so hype happy that you're here with me today, man. We are gonna have a ball. I'm just saying. I'm just saying with Dan Willis. What's up? Welcome to Late Night Christian Talk. I'm your boy, Dan Willis, right here tonight on the fun anointed set. I'm just saying, right out of Chicago tonight. Hey, kids, this is the day the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it. I'm so happy you're here with me tonight because, listen, tonight, whatever you've been through today, it's about to be, the chains are going to be broken tonight because tonight we're going to have fun right here on the set because I got my main man from Atlanta, Georgia, Willie Brown and his sidekick, Woody, I'm going to tell you about that. Christian comedian, ventriloquist, I'm telling you what tonight is going to be fun. We've already been cracking up, getting ready to go live here tonight. So you don't want to go anywhere. Willie Brown from the Laugh Factory in Hollywood to BET, currently touring with Tyler Perry's Meet the Browns. I mean, this man has opened for everybody from Vicki Winans to Jay Moss to Dietrich Cad, you name it. This is the man in comedy, and tonight he's right here. So we're going to have a great time. Atlanta, I got your boy here, Willie Brown. Hey, I want to get the party cracking tonight because I'm telling you, we have got one of the funniest guys, not just in America, but in the world, sitting here on the hot seat tonight. He hails from Atlanta, Georgia. He is my friend, Willie Brown, and friends. He's got a couple of them. He's got one buddy here tonight, Woody. And I'm telling you what, you've seen him from the Laugh Factory to BET. We're going to have a great time tonight. So get ready to be encouraged and have a little fun here tonight. My man, Willie Brown and Woody. Welcome to I'm Just Thank Saying. You, man, Thank I'm you. happy you're here. here. Yeah, it's good to be here. How yes, you doing tonight, Woody? Hey, I, I can't call it. I'm just happy to be alive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You've been cracking on everybody since you walked in this studio yeah, tonight. Yeah, that's what he does. That's what he does. Oh, my goodness. I can't help it. Man, you have had some incredible opportunities, Willie Brown. You are from Atlanta, Georgia. You lived in L.A. for seven years, you said? Yes, moved to uh, L.A., yeah. You have opened for everybody and their mama. How did you get started in this? Well, when I was a kid, um, remember the television show Soap? Yeah. The sitcom? Yeah, yeah. I was inspired by the guy, Jay Johnson. He was a ventriloquist on the show. Right, right. And uh, he would come out, he would basically steal the show every week. And I told my mother I wanted to be a ventriloquist. Oh so she, she went out for Christmas and bought me a puppet. And I came with a little booklet and I just practiced and learned the basics. Then I found a home study course in the back of a comic book. And they would send me lessons like every month and I would just uh, go over the lessons and they, you'd have to record your voice to see if you Are had you a voice. Are you serious? Yeah, and, and I just followed what they told me to do and the rest is history. I didn't know there was such a thing. How old yeah. were you when that I was started? 13 years old. <laughs> And so you started doing little performances and things? Started doing shows. My mother would take me to my shows. And uh, my first show was at Nationwide Insurance Company. My mother worked there. It was a family talent night. And I had like a month to prepare for my show. And everybody loved the show. And they asked me, uh, how much do you charge? Charge? He didn't know you could charge. What? You got to be kidding me. Praise God. <laughs> so we're, we've been doing it ever since. Have you ever got used to the look on people's face when you walk in a room and people are stuffy, but you can just break them down in a couple minutes? Yeah, you know, as soon as you bring Woody out, you know, the show is on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here right now, okay? <laughs> You've been doing this so long. This is funny. Tonight, before we went live, we're just sitting in here waiting for our countdown, and Woody is still closing his eyes, turning his head, looking at... I mean, he's part of you. Yeah, it's, like, it's, like, it's kind of like second nature now. Yeah. I'm working him for real. See, y'all don't know I'm working him. See, y'all think you're working me, then I'm working him. <laughs> it's all wood. It's all it's wood. All wood. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what's what's one what of your routines when you like you just did a cruise? You were on a cruise. We just came off the One Love cruise with Yolanda Adams. Oh uh, it was uh, our girl Dorinda the was there. Dorinda tore it down. I tell you, boy, Whew. Dorinda, that. something. We could have went home after that. <laughs> then uh, Pastor Marvin Sapp came on after her. Oh, really? Never could have dated. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. And then uh, Hezekiah Walker. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my goodness. Won't he make you click and tight? I like that song. <laughs> How did they all like you, Woody? Man. They loved us. <laughs> out, out the suitcase, you know. <laughs> he who the son that says free shall be free indeed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, my goodness. What's one of your... What's one of your favorite things you do with Woody? Well, basically, we come out and we start the show. Uh, I take him out of the suitcase. I say, what's up? Hey, your hand in my back. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I asked you to put it in there anyway, don't you? Whoop, there it is. You know where we are? We getting paid. Man, I don't care. I'm staying. <laughs> you keep making me talk, I keep acting like I'm talking. All I know is that I have my honorarium. <laughs> and what if they don't? I'm going to turn into Chucky. <laughs> 
gonna be y'all friend to the end. Some of y'all ain't gonna make it to the exit, I'm telling you right now. You know why we're here? Why? Because they like us. No, because we fit in the budget. <laughs> we fit in the budget. <laughs> we want to thank the establishment for putting us up at the beautiful um, Embassy Suites Hotel. Well, we have a lovely view of the dumpster. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, it's very, very nice. And we always stay in nice places. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Last time we came here, you had us staying at the day's end. <laughs> you know why? Because you couldn't afford to stay all night. <laughs> Hotel so cheap, the maid stole my towels, OK? <laughs> Didn't even have a Bible. All they had was the word. You know that it's a cheap hotel and you got to use your cell phone to, to call the room service. I got to come get it too? Oh, the devil is a liar. <laughs> it's all wood. Oh, my Lord. So we know when we leave here. We got to go up to New York. I ain't flying. Why not? Planes keep going down. You don't have to worry about that, Woody. Huh? Nothing going to happen to you unless it's your time to go. My time to go. That's right. Well, it ain't my time to go. Yeah. But it's time for the man sitting next to me to go. <laughs> I got to go because he going? <laughs> oh, no, sir. The devil is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, oh you all right? <laughs> no, I'm not. All right. We're going to lay hands on you. Didn't Woody meet Pookie? Pookie, that's my cousin right there. <laughs> yeah. He used to go to the ghetto church. Did you know that? <laughs> you used to go to the ghetto church yeah. with Pookie? Yeah. That's what a minister music mixed flashlight with this little light of nine. You ever heard that? <laughs> This little light of nine, I'm gonna let it shine. Da, 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 Flashlight. You know that's wrong. That is, that is straight wrong. Oh my God, does Woody preach at all? Yeah, I preach. Hey, no weapon thrown against it shall prosper I'm more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. Greater than he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. <laughs> uh, no weapon thrown. Do you know what I'm saying? Woody, I'm glad you got your microphone on there, too. Is this thing on? <laughs> Touch the one, too. Is this thing on? Hey, Willie, but if you could keep your lips from moving, we might be able to fool these people. <laughs> hey, don't talk while I'm talking. Don't worry, you ain't that good. <laughs> How's your grandmother doing? My grandmother is 80 years old, Pastor. 80? She, she, she didn't walk in a mile per day. Get out of here. No. She didn't walk in a mile a day for the last 30 days. Mm-hmm. And now, yeah. we don't know where she is. <laughs> If you oh. see my grandma on oh, eight mile, oh. call us. Oh, we, my God. We, we hungry, OK? Woody, you got me laughing so hard till my head is hurting behind my ears here. You know, we don't praise them. The rocks are going to cry out. <laughs> well, the wood is already talking, OK? <laughs> Can I sing my song? Can I sing my song? Woody's going to sing? Yeah, he has a song he's been working on. Oh, yeah, I've been working on this song. Oh, sweet Can Lord. I do it for you? Oh, sweet Do I have Lord. time? Woody, sing. Yeah, I, I, I want to give a shout out to, to the Sean Mitchell. That's my minister of music at Higher Living <laughs> Christian Church in uh, Hampton, Georgia. Turn it up a little bit. Give you a bounce song for Jesus. Get your bounce song for Jesus. Come on, y'all know how to do this. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Turn the hat around, Woody. There you go. <laughs> Get your bounce. David dance so we can dance, too. Go ahead, you got this? Yeah, I got this. Climb to the highest mountain. Say, Woody. Looked all around, couldn't find nobody. <laughs> Y'all know this song, you gotta sing this song. <laughs> Went down to the deepest valley. Searched all around there, couldn't find nobody. That's right, you gotta sing that. If we don't praise them, I'm gonna tell you. Went across the deep blue sea, couldn't find one to compare <laughs> to your grace, your love, and mercy. Nobody greater, mm. nobody greater than you. Come on, Pastor, get yourself together now. Get yourself together now. <laughs> Searched all over, uh -huh. couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. Still couldn't find nobody, <laughs> nobody greater, nobody greater, no, Say nobody it. greater than you, greater than you. <laughs> nobody can heal like you can, oh, most holy one, you are the great I am.
breathe in some flame. I like that part, Pastor. I like that part right there. <laughs> you are he who carried out redemption plan. Come on, church. Everybody, wave your hand like this. Come on. Searched all over. Yeah, that's it. Couldn't find nobody. Now look high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The oh Rock Obama. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woody, that was awesome. Listen, I want you to know something Woo. before I, I don't want to lose all of this and, and just uh, You're going to make a dummy walk tonight. in a minute. Oh, yeah. Tell you, right now. you got to make sure you go to Willie Brown and Woody.com. Willie Brown and Woody.com. Number one, you want to make sure you bring Willie Brown into, you know, churches are always looking for good, clean family, entertainment, and fun. You got to bring him in to whatever events you have going on, as well as you have an incredible DVD called Comedy for the Soul. Can they get that at your website, yeah, too? Yeah, you go to the website and you can order it. Through PayPal. <laughs> and you can find out all of the things, your events coming up, cruises yeah. you're going to be on. Everything. Yeah. Everything is right yeah. there on, on there. Yeah. What is, you know, you're doing something else because I, I loved what you said. God gives us all different gifts and talents, but using them to really edify people. And the Lord has you doing something using ministry yes, sir. in what you're doing with the comedy. Tell me about that. Yeah, he's uh, giving me an idea for something called uh, Willie Brown and Woody Word for the day. And we're going to basically take comedy and mix it, and we're going to bring the word into it. How do you do, how in the world can you do that? Well, I put him into the scenarios, different scenarios. And then uh, actually, uh, he'll be sometimes playing like the devil's advocate on certain things. And then I will correct him with, the, with scripture. And this will be like really short and sweet, but to the point, like quick two minute segments. Like, can, like, like what? Give like me, for, give like me. he has one, uh, basically, I, I asked him, I said, Woody, if you're driving in your car and, and you're approaching a parking space and someone else is approaching a parking space at the same time, what do you do? I hurry up and get there before they do. <laughs> Woody, that's not nice, man. Come on. Okay, you're on a highway. Yeah. And, and someone is trying to pass you. Uh-huh. And uh, what do you do? I step on the gas so they can't pass me. This NASCAR, <laughs> baby, you ain't going to get past me. <laughs> Woody, no, you're not supposed to do that, man. You're supposed to let your brother go first or before you. Huh? That's right, man. You, should, you shouldn't go first. You should, the, the word says you're supposed to let your brother go first. You know, treat those treat people the way you want to be treated. Do unto others as I like others to do unto me. That's right, basically. And that's kind of like what we're going to be doing. And we hope that we're going to be able to touch that's children awesome. as well as adults and the whole family with, with, with our messages. That, what you're doing is such a niche that is so necessary, I think, you know, I'm a senior pastor 34 years in Chicago, and there's so few things that whole families can go to and laugh and have fun with yeah. the kids and all that. So you're in a niche, really, that's so important to wholesome, clean family yeah. fun. What's some of Woody's favorite jokes he tells? I mean, I tell a lot of jokes about different things. My grand, you ever go to your grandma's house and she offer you that uh, Christmas candy dinner around since she was a kid? <laughs> she don't want it, so she try to give it to you. Have some candy, baby. No, I'm good, I'm good. Have some candy. No, I'm straight, I'm straight. You go to get one piece of candy, a whole bowl stuck to it. What is this, bowl candy? How old is this? <laughs> You know, we're originally from New Haven, Connecticut, uh -huh. and we moved out to Los Angeles to join the Jehovah Witness Protection Program. <laughs> um, I love I loved L.A. Speak for yourself. No, L.A. has like two of everything. What's that? Two basketball teams. Yeah. Two airports. Yeah, and too many people on the street <laughs> asking for money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everywhere you go, they got the handout. You got some stair change so I can get some McDonald's. I said, no, that's what I use it for. <laughs> I haven't eaten in so long, I forgot what food tastes like. When well, you tell them, don't worry, it still tastes the same. I seen a homeless man with keys today. Where was he going? Somebody is perpetrating out here, okay? If you're really homeless, I'm going to help you, you know? But if you ain't, don't fake it. Then they try to catch you on the way home from church on Sunday. Right. Like the Holy Ghost don't know. Don't mind. You got some extra chain? I said, I don't know. Then they check in my pocket, look in my pocket, look at here. Do you see some extra chain? I got some personal chain. I ain't got no extra chain. Extra chain is gone. Extra chain came from the extra chain pocket. The extra chain pocket is empty. This here is personal chain. You can't have this. You asked for extra change. You need to be more specific with your request. The word says you have not because you asked not. I suggest you get an extra job. <laughs> then you have some extra change. You understand what I'm saying, Pastor? Oh, my God. Woo. 
Woody, that. how'd you like the cruise? Did you lay cruise out? Cruise was did, great. Did you lay out in tan or anything? Oh yeah, man. But don't go in the bathroom, cause I tell you that thing is. You have to go in the bathroom on a cruise ship. Oh Lord, yeah, you got to. You pushed that the whoosh. I don't know, brought it back to the mainland. I tell you, I thought I lost something down there. I said, oh Lord, man, I think I lost a leg or something. I don't know. Oh, I had nurses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank my you, Jesus. God. Woody, have you, who's your favorite televangelist? Uh, I like you. I like you for real. <laughs> Dude, you, are, you are it. You are it for me, okay? You, are, you do it for me. <laughs> Can you preach like anybody else? You on and TV? Joe Osteen do. I like Joe Osteen because <laughs> everything worked good for Joe Osteen. I don't care what it is. He can, anything, you could be going to jail. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. You're going to be okay. Just, just go on in there. You're going to be all right. You're going to do hard time, but don't worry. God gonna be with you. Could be, your arm could be falling off. You don't worry. You don't need that arm. You already got another one. You got two legs. Don't worry about that arm. You're gonna be all right. Things are gonna be good. I like James Fortune. You ever know James Fortune? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah like I love James Fortune. Now, don't make too much fun with No, that's my man. I love him, too. I love him. James, he's like, God's good. God's gonna work it out for you. God's gonna work it out. He's gonna do it for you. Sound like Bill Clinton. I tell you, God's gonna make it work for you. God is good. He's awesome. I'm not Kirk Franklin, okay? I am not Kirk Franklin. <laughs> Oh my God. Why goodness. you keep touching me, Lily? I'm trying to get you situated. I ain't that kind of guy, okay? <laughs> no weapon thrown against these El Frostler. I'm more than a conqueror. Have you have you been to the White House yet and met? No, I've been president. past it. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna let us in there. You need I to like be. to go though. Yeah, really, oh, really. that would be oh, that would man. be amazing. They just had a big toaster or something toast. They did the correspondence dinner at the oh, other yeah, night. Oh yeah, a lot of jokes. You would be jokes. you oh, would be it. awesome. Yeah, I would love to go there. We got some political jokes. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, I'm look. maybe we better no. save that one for okay, another time. Okay, let's save it for next time, okay. This is a, a good year, though, ain't it? It's a good year. This is a good year. Last year was tough, though, Pastor. You know it's tough when the drug dealers got to go back to work. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not, I can't help you right now. I'm at the Home Depot. Uh, see me on the weekend. I can't help you right now. Uh, I'll see you on the weekend. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. Woody, are you yes, saved? Sir. Yes, I'm saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I'm, I'm baptized. I don't say fire. I don't like fire. I don't like fire. But I, <laughs> are you but running I am for your life? I'm, I'm running. <laughs> from the, I'm walking right now. Why are you walking? Come the leg nest up. Y'all see my leg? Look at these legs. Look at these legs. You know these legs nest up, Pastor? Dr. gave me six months to live, but I ain't had no money, so he gave me six more months. Still work with you, you know. <laughs> Dr. called me yesterday, that check you wrote, it just came back. I said, yeah, so did the pain in my legs. Ooh, Jesus, so did, so did the pain in my legs. Lord, doctor, you ain't nothing. Oh, my Lord. You seen Lord. my grandmama? Your, your grandma? My granddaddy just celebrated five years alcohol-free. Y'all should clap. Five years alcohol-free. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Praise now, God. he can just leave that crack alone. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> one thing at a time, Jesus, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the master. You are the author and the finisher. You are the alpha and the omega, the kappa alpha psi. Amen, praise God. You are the beginning and the end. Oh, my goodness. Laughter doing Everyone. good like a medicine. Oh, nothing like it, man. There, there is nothing like it. You have another character, too. Next time when you come back. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. What's the other Uncle character? Uncle Rufus. Uncle Rufus. He's cantankerous, man. He's, <laughs> He's an old man. He's, he, he, he's setting his ways. But you'll love him. You'll love him. I would yeah. love for you yeah. to come back. I'd love to come back. And do Uncle Rufus. Yeah, that would be back. hilarious. Yeah, something else, I does, tell you. Does Woody get along with Uncle Rufus? Yeah, I love Uncle Rufus. He's all right. <laughs> he's all right. He's all right with me. Woody, this has been so much fun to have you here. Me too, Mary. Me too, Pastor. Night after night, I sit on this set, and I don't know when I've laughed more than I did tonight, Woody. <laughs> Call me if you want to laugh. I don't care. Just get the DVD, okay, Pastor? <laughs> well, I don't know who's going to pray tonight, Willie or uh, Woody, or who's hey, going to pray. I can pray. I can pray, too. I don't care. I'll close your eyes right now, okay? It's on. <laughs> would you, would you it's on right now. Stretch your hand and just take a minute to pray for people. It's on a serious note. Yes. On a serious. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come before your people. And we want to change the face of entertainment, Heavenly yes. Father. We want to change it. We want to give our kids something to look forward to, Lord. We want to pr provide morality, Lord, and spirituality and guidance in what they're watching on television. I thank you for this great ministry right here, Father God, for Pastor Dan. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to come and share our gifts, the gift that you gave us, Lord. You said that our gifts should make room for us, Father God. And we just thank you, Lord. Everything we get, we give it right back to you, Lord. You're awesome and you're magnificent, and we worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 
You know, I, pray, ap God. I appreciate what you're doing, Willie, oh, because truly, laughter doeth good like a medicine. Oh, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's what's wrong with so yeah. many people. They don't. Laugh, yeah. yeah. We have to laugh. We too do. cantankerous. You got to. You got to let it go. Yeah. Sometimes we think, you know, being, being righteous and living a Christian life that we have to be uptight, but we don't. God wants us to have fun. I believe God is the greatest comedian of all. I, more funny stuff, Woody, you know this, more funny stuff happens accidentally in church than the world has on purpose. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. we have some funny stuff happen all at all church time. all, all the time. time. Willie, you'll come back again. Love to come back. Thank Woody, you so you'll much. come back again? Yeah, me, yeah tonight. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. Hey, make sure you Thank go to WillieBrownAndWoody.com. WillieBrownAndWoody.com. Book him for your next event. Bring him in whatever, wherever you are watching us tonight. Make sure you bring in my man, Willie Brown. Listen, on behalf of Dr. Coons, Miss Tina, DJ Pookie, Miss Julie, Willie Brown and Woody, all of my crew here at I'm Just Saying, we love you so much. And that's really the truth. And nothing you can do about that. Listen, kids, when you wake up tomorrow, your tomorrow is going to be greater than your today ever thought about being. Laugh a little bit. Enjoy life. God is on your side, and he really does love you. I love you too, Willis out. Holla back. Good night. Bye-bye.